So I have a complex medical history, cardiac history, but it all came to light in August of 2017. I had lightheadedness. My blood pressure was on the up and down scale. So I went to the emergency room at the local hospital. I saw an electrophysiologist and he said um, that we have to do this study and that study and you probably need a cardiac defibrillator. So that was done in August of 2017. At my visit in 2021, my EF was uh, 25 or lower. And I said to the doctor, what, what can we do to bring the EF up? He said, there's really nothing we can do. We have to hope we can keep what we have. I've been in healthcare for 47 years. I look for new treatments and new innovations. And uh, I found Barostim. So I've been implanting device therapies in heart failure patients for over 15 years. And aside from biventricular pacing, there really is no other therapy that we can offer patients as electrophysiologists that could potentially improve symptomatology or heart failure symptoms. And in this vacuum where we don't have things to offer patients, it becomes challenging, uncomfortable, upsetting, discouraging when we sit and look in a patient's eye and tell them we have nothing to offer you despite the fact that you have these symptoms of heart failure. I had the following symptoms, fatigue, shortness of breath, sweating. I could barely walk 20 feet without being out of breath. In specific, Mr. Sufer, he had been seen at an outside center. He was maximized on guideline-directed medical therapy and already had an existing biventricular defibrillator and still was having class three heart failure symptoms. He was extremely debilitated. He couldn't walk up the stairs to his apartment. He was uh, describing the inability to do activities of daily living, such as going to the grocery store and picking, picking up his groceries. And after Barostim therapy, immediately after, he actually was one of those patients that was over diuresed because he was doing so well, I had to cut back on his diuretics. Um, so he was immediately able to come off of some of his medications. And now, approximately six months after implantation, uh, he's fully active and he's extremely grateful to me for offering, providing this therapy and implanting him with the CVRX Barostim device. I'm not a doctor, I'm just a patient and I'm giving you my experience. Your experience may be different. If you're a candidate for this procedure, I would definitely pursue it and follow through with it to give yourself a better quality of life.